Good morning. Happy Friday. We made it to another week. Okay. There we go. Hi, Diane. Let's see. Hi, Hitomi. I don't really have anything earth shattering uh, to say today. I just want. Oh. Okay. I just wanted to have a cup of tea and slow down this morning, so I thought I would just pop on here and say good morning. Good morning. Ignore what I got going on here. Hi from sunny Florida, Tracy Brown. So it's sunny here as well, and I'm tackling a few things today. There we go. Hi, Kathy. There we go. I thought I would tackle a few things today. I started with my laundry because that hadn't been done uh, since last week. Good morning. I am having tea. A big old cup of tea, actually. And um, I, I just, I really have nothing like changing to say other than um, made it to Friday and it's been a little bit of a week. Oh, Andrea just asked me, I love tea. I love tea. Do you use loose leaf tea? Yes. Um, it's the best. You should try it. I do. I love it. And I actually just bought a tea kettle. I'm going to turn into an only tea household because this weekend my middle son moves to college and he's the only one who drinks the tea. And so I'm going to send, or he only is the only one who really drinks the coffee. So I'm going to send him to school with the coffee maker and get rid of it. I don't really want it. <laughs> I don't really use it. And, um, I, I guess he wants it. Um, just so you know, this morning I shared my Wyland necklace on Instagram and Wyland, well, his people shared it. I don't know that he um, shared it. But um, this morning, or actually the next couple of days, I'm going to stay locked in this room. And um, I'm going to work. I even brought outfit changes in here just because I'm going to be recording videos. Um, Christina said, I only drink black tea British style. This is English black tea. That is my favorite. So an electric hot uh, water boils and automatically turns itself off. That's what I bought this weekend. Um, yes, Brenda, you have the same. I have this cup in yellow. What else color? Look, it has a butterfly on the inside. I have... Um, I collect teacups, which is a weird thing, and I cleaned out my one cupboard so that I could fit them all. And also, like, tea, not kettles, I guess those are called, pots, teapots. And um, so I try to drink tea out of pretty glasses when I'm, like, pampering myself. Not that I'm pampering myself, but I started the day with a meeting at 8 o'clock, uh, via Zoom, a couple of meetings, and um, a, a new partnership, which I'll talk about probably soon. And then um, I went and did my laundry that hadn't been done since last weekend, and I let that sit, and I hate a uh, cluttered laundry room. And also my whole front foyer is filled with stuff that's going to college on Sunday, so I have some plans to be redoing some of my closet and, um, I don't know, get my life kind of back in shape. Uh, after, I think, I only took like two days off last week and, and I'm not really used to that. So I've kind of had a hard time getting back. And I've had a couple of things this week that have been a little hard, uh, hard on the soul. And, um, it's not too early for wine. Uh, in my opinion, <laughs> but who, it is only 9.30 a.m. in California, so I'm going to hold out today. Actually, um, 
it's been a week since I've had a glass of wine. Um, I'm trying to just drink water. And like when I say water, I'm setting a timer every two hours and drinking 20 ounces of water. So I'm behind the eight ball this morning. So I just thought I would pop on because uh, this weekend above me and my uh, above me on my cabinets are um, post-it notes of the videos I'm recording. I am scheduling interviews through the next six months, which is kind of exciting because I've already had a few people who said I would love to participate, and that was great. And uh, good morning, Dee Dee in Germany. Yeah, it's five o'clock somewhere. Wouldn't it be like England, isn't it, in the evening right now? So there you go. So, um, oh, it's uh, Debbie has her uh, the day off. Um, I actually am going to, um, anytime I'm touching anything lately in anywhere, it could be my studio or whatnot, I'm organizing it. It's like this time of year, plus I'm watching that home edit show on Netflix, uh, and I love to get rid of stuff. So I'm in that fall mood of just cleaning stuff out and organizing. I also am going to, which I started it last night, exciting news, restart my blog back up again. I love to write, and it's a part that has been kind of missing. So I'm going to try and um, share some of my most like common used or favorite things or answer questions that I will be able to go back and reference. Like, I'm going to start with this paint storage system because it used to be on my old. I actually had to go, like, um, go back on my um, old website, and I've got somebody working on it now for me. And um, to go back and bring some of the stuff that was my most popular because it answers some of the questions for me in a little more easy way and I can just provide a link. Kathy wants to know what the home edit show is. If you guys aren't watching that, it's Joanna. I can't think of their names, um, but they wrote a book and they, they're really, I think, akin with the container store and they um, clean and organize spaces for mostly celebrities but my mom really passed down the ability to organize things. And um, my bedroom is, everything in my house is kind of organized. But occasionally I let things get out of whack, especially with the kids. But um, my son is, my daughter can't go to college. But my son is moving into his dorm on Sunday. So it's given me the opportunity. Originally we were going to go buy him new things, but then I realized why would I invest money in stuff that's going to go to college for short term when I can give him the stuff in this house and get new stuff. So he's taken the coffee maker, I, t I bought a tea kettle, um, he needed an abundance of hangers so I was like I'm going to buy myself all new hangers, he gets my black ones, and then um, he needed a shoe rack so I kind of gave him that and I'm going to go buy the stuff that I want. Um, and if you guys watch the Home Edit show, I have always organized my stuff by color. I just should just keep pointing back here. Um, my closet, my clothes, my shirts, my t-shirts, everything is organized by color. It always has been. Um, I, I think um, I think when I, I was a kid, I think I used to actually get hangers, the colors of the shirts. So like my hangers were a rainbow. Hi, Chris. Um, so it's not out of my wheelhouse, but now these two great girls' moms are making living out of doing it, and they're associated with the um, they associated they're associated with the container store, which I love too. So you shop for him in your own house. Yeah, you should see me. I was like, here. Do you need a pot, a pan, a cutting board? I was just like, here, here, here. Um, and so I have been slightly, excuse me, my nose is itchy, a little bit just in the mindset of here, you know, take it, go. And, um, I love this time of year 
because it's like, I don't know. I don't spend my summer organizing anything. I like to be by the pool. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got breakfast in my throat. I had granola. So I just thought I would pop on and just tell you that this weekend, especially if you're one of my tribe, um, my members, I am going to be um, filming videos this weekend. And uh, the first one is, because <laughs> I keep getting asked, I'm going to make a new core video for everybody. And then, so what I did was I reorganized the face of all my cabinet. I wish I could show you. I probably could if I moved up. The face of my cabinet is now divided by the videos for the next six months, my technique videos, uh, the interviews I need to set up and schedule for the next six months, my Facebook Lives my camp clubhouse videos, and all of my workshops that I want to record and edit. Um, and then I have a big note that says uh, blog. So I, that's, um, and I'm going to spend the next two days. I really don't have any major plans. So if you have a request for me, now is your time to send it to me and get your uh, question answered, I guess. And that's it. Oh, and tonight... Once I shut it down in here, I am going to go outside an art journal. Now, my outside, my outdoors, is as in disarray as my indoors because um, over the summer I let things grow and blossom. And um, Andrea just said, sorry, I don't mean to sidetrack, but she said, she, I'd love to see a slideshow of your doodle books. Andrea, I have many of them on my YouTube channel. If you don't know my YouTube channel, I could probably give you a link from here. I just shared my latest two. Um, let's see if I can give you that. You can always, I upload, to, oh, I don't even know. What my, okay, let me look. YouTube. Let's see. I'll give you a link to my YouTube channel because you can go back and I have them. I I know I have them. And I think they won't be hard to find. Let me just, I'll give you a link right to the videos. I probably could even provide you copy. And if you're in my membership, you can drop a note in there, and I'm sure we could find it for you. But I just shared one not too long ago, and it was just completed, and it was just really timely. Um, I'm looking. Sorry, I don't mean to be distracted, but I thought I would look for you while I'm here. Um, yeah, I always, I always share my journals when they're done. I don't. I, I share them as I go along, but then when they're done, I do a. I know I have one in here, but <laughs> I can't see everything because my window is. So if you go to my YouTube channel, I, I share a lot of info there. Oh, yeah, when you, yes. Oh, when I did a tour. Well, maybe I need to do that again, too. Yeah, I'm working on my schedule for uh, tw really 2021. Facebook, I'm looking, Art Journal Challenge. I'm looking. Maybe it's not as easy to find. Boy, I'm busy in this YouTube channel. I, I do upload stuff so that y'all can see what I'm working on. I, I, you know, if you message me, I'm sure I could find it. Oh, here's one. Art Journal. Here's Tracy Wayne's Devil Studios. What is this one? I'm just going to start playing. Uh, I'll just get the link and get out. Copy. Okay, well, there's one, Andrea. If you, That's not my latest one, though, but I just happened to find it. Okay, um, so I'll come back and chit-chat with you. Uh, that's, that was, that's really, like, the main thing that's going on. But my outside, I was saying, is as in disarray. My palm trees are way overdue to be um, cleaned up, and my tree guy because palm trees are super messy and I probably have like 18 of them that are too tall to climb up and I can't handle it and I'm afraid of heights um but they all need to be trimmed and they have these pods that um that uh burst open 
and bees love them, which I love the bees, but I'm allergic to bees and I don't want to uh, come in contact with the bees. So I um, hire somebody to do it and he has been delayed and now he's out of town for a week, but all the stuff is just overgrown and needs to be taken care of. And that's, I've got a couple of friends going to come help me tomorrow just to get things cleaned up because I don't really like yard work. And if people will do the work for a couple of packs of beer, then I will do that. Hi, Nadine. I miss you too, my friend. Good morning. I'm just having a cup of tea. Oh, Deborah, the boom lift, not the man lift that the guy called it. I looked into renting one. I need one. Just not sure where I would park it. Um, that's what my friend was like. I'll just hire a boom lift and come over. But the tree guy comes. He climbs up the trees. He hucks it all down. He takes it all away. I don't want to deal with it. It's just too daunting for me. And I'm afraid of heights. I don't prefer to be up high. Today, my friend said he's going on a helicopter ride. And I was like, mm, have at it. I went in one in Hawaii and had a death grip the entire time. I really enjoyed it. But I didn't really like to be able to see down by my feet and look that far down and so I'm I'm a real just kind of sea level kind of gal so yes uh Nadine aren't we normally getting ready because I'll see you like in January it just feels odd to me um my friend it just feels odd I just literally took the trade show off of my calendar this morning and scheduled a bunch of stuff in January so I'm happy oh I have a question uh because this is a great resource now I yeah I can't watch anybody I can't watch the tree guy when he comes and he's not my husband okay I ordered this last year and it's an Aaron Condren book uh, planner and I put the tabs in it so organized I am and I want this because it lays flat. I don't want spiral bound. They don't make this anymore. I've already emailed the company and said, please, I would. Um, I want it like this, and I want it like eight by ten. Does any? I don't want spiral bound, and I want it for the year. I don't want it for the academic year. I need it for like twenty twenty one. Does anybody know anything about planners? I'm not a planner person. Um, I can order the tabs and then I ordered like pockets to hold stuff in here. Um, but I asked them and they're not making this life planner anymore, which is kind of, um, I mean, it says life planner. Did they just it, vertical layout? I even emailed them and I love it because it gives me like the option to do this. And then at the beginning, like it's all in front of me and then it gives me to do list. Now you're looking at my to do list, which is a mile long, but I need something like, see, this is, this is my September, and here's all my video ideas that are here. And then my Facebook Lives and my Wine with Wine and my morning meditation. But I like to see it like this. I don't even use most of this stuff. Sometimes I'll write an occasional scribble, but I'm not a planner. I literally, I don't want, I'm not, I don't need stickers. I don't need um, simple, but I need something like this. If any of you planner people, and I want it eight by, like, I need this. This is what I want. Um, I'm probably, I probably should, like, just, I don't know. I, I don't have time to, like, be looking at planners. And I need 2021. I have 2020 handled. <laughs> I know, I know that sounds weird to be planning. I mean, 20, December's looking pretty dim, but <laughs> no, I don't, I plan the month of, but I go ahead in my Google calendar, but I like to write in different colors. Oh, I need to take Oklahoma off my planner. Um, oh, I'm supposed to be going to Oklahoma. Uh, but if any of you know, I know there's a lot of planner people out there and I want it leather bound. Staples has planners. Okay, so that's now. Well, can I go online? Because I don't even have a Staples by me. There's a Staples. So like some. Okay, Staples. Now your whole tribe will be looking for you. <laughs> I wanted to post something the other day, and I should share it with you guys. Cause um, I, I'm gonna share it. Hold on. I mean.
I want to share something. Um, I am, okay, I'm going to go look online. Thank you, Lisa. So I, I had the word empower for 2020. Um, and maybe in some ways I was looking to empower myself, like again in life, because I have fallen on my face a couple times. And so, um, I don't know, back last year, uh, was it last year? I got my name back, Wine Zaffle. Um, I got my, I refinanced my house in my own name, which was really exciting. And um, so I just refinanced again. And I'm actually looking for organizations to, um, what's the word, empower other women. Like this is what I stand for. This is what I believe in. This is, you know, rebuilding after life has knocked you down um, is very important to me. Like I was thinking, oh, for 2021, maybe my word is empower again, but I don't know if that, why I picked the same word twice, but um, a lot has changed in my life and I just refinanced again and oh, here, I got to take a sip of tea. I have granola in my the back of my throat, I think. Mm. Yeah, Hitomi, if anybody finds this, this is my artful journey, like Bible. This is what I plan everything by. So anyway, um, so I just want to encourage, especially if there's somebody out there, and I'm going to keep repeating this message. If there's anybody out there going through a hard time, and I have some friends. I've had a really rough week. I have a couple of friends that... Um, Things are um, really uh, happening. Sorry, I'm selling two nightstands, and a guy by the name of Elvis just asked me to come by today. <laughs> so um, anyway, I'm really about, like, that is everything I stand for, is, is really helping women get back on their feet. Um, and yes. Thank you, RBG, for that. I mean, hello. Oh, my God. Today I was just listening to, I did not know she was the valedictorian and her mom died the day before and she never gave her speech. How on earth? That is just crazy to me. But anyway, um, so I refinanced again. Got a lower interest rate and super proud of that. Very proud of that. And my um, finance lady has always, uh, I work through a mortgage company and she's really great. And this was my gift. She always gives a gift. The first time I got Tiffany wine glasses, the second time, which by the way, I re-gifted. I was desperate. I had no money, <laughs> but they were never open and never used. <laughs> But now I wish I kind of had them. But I gave them as a wedding gift out of desperation. I didn't have any money. Um, and the second one was a cutting board in the shape of a home, which I have actually hanging up because I was super proud of that. That was, um, you know, refinancing on my own. And um, this is my third refinancing. And this was the gift they gave me. And I didn't post it all over Facebook. But um, if you want to look up the longitude and latitude of my home. <laughs> so let's just cover some of that up. But um, it has my name, Ramona, California. That's where I live. And the longitude and latitude. And I have this. I immediately, I immediately hung this on my wall. Like the lady left the notary and... Um, I hung it on my wall. And so um, it's the little victories in life that end up really meaning a lot to you. And I didn't post it all over Facebook because I thought, well, I really don't know if I want somebody looking up the longitude and latitude of my home. I don't know if you could get to the exact place, but I'm guessing because I don't know how that works. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Yeah. Oh, good. Lisa says it was okay to re-gift it. It was a wedding gift. I didn't have any money. And it was four Tiffany glasses and a Tiffany box and a Tiffany bag. And all I did was replace the name, the name tag on it. I did make sure it was not um, personalized. <laughs> One time I gave a wine that had been personalized. Yeah. Isn't that a really thoughtful gift? So I emailed her to thank you because she also was the one who helped me originally upon divorce refinance my home and my dad had to co-sign as a, I don't know, a 40-something-year-old woman. 
So um, that was, you know, and now my dad, I used to joke with my dad because my dad would say, you know, hey, can we come visit in January? I'm like, well, technically you own half the house. You can come visit anytime you want because you own it. <laughs> so n needless to say, um, that is not part of my life anymore, but I am so proud of this and it's hanging on my wall. And uh, oh, the other thing is when I was signing the refinancing documents, I think the lady was looking at me, not with pity, but she was like, oh, is this correct? It says Tracy Weinsapple, an unmarried woman. I was like, yep. <laughs> oh, initial there, initial there, date and sign here. <laughs> so she was laughing, though, and I said, oh, you just have no idea what this means to me. But if there are any women out there who are feeling like life has beaten you down, I actually belong to some support groups that now I don't, I don't uh, go on the end of the support. I go on the other end of the other side of it, and that is to help and aid and to um, give back. So I'm actually looking into that a little bit more. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want people to, yeah, I was, the lady was laughing because she was like, I'm sorry it has to say that. I was like, I'm not. <laughs> so that was my tea time chat this morning. I, didn't, I told you I didn't have anything significant other than to let you know to stay tuned for a blog. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Deborah said. There's nothing at all wrong with being a single happy woman. I was like, you don't have to be sorry, ma'am. And she was so polite about it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, 30 more years, they're going to bury me under this house. But you know what? At least they're going to bury me with a 2.989% race. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy, for saying that. I don't know that strength is the word I would use. It would maybe resiliency, maybe bounce back, maybe rubber band girl. I don't know. But um, I just hope that in some way, shape, or form, it gives back to somebody who maybe thinks there is no possible way that you come back from some stuff. Because the answer is, yes, you can. Yes, you will. Yes, I now fully own my house again for like the 12th time. <laughs> it's the same old house, more problems, but I own it again for 30 more years. And in 2050, it will be fully paid off. <laughs> I'm looking at the date going 2050. The good news is the last payment's like $30.82. So <laughs> okay. I thank you for catching up with me this morning. Maybe we'll do this over the weekend and I will draw uh, maybe a little bit. But tonight I plan um if a single guy gets a mortgage, it says unmarried too. So that's not, a, oh, that's good. I didn't know that. I didn't know your marital status had anything to do with your home, but um, I guess it does. I mean, I guess I didn't, I guess I'm sure I knew that. I just, I was just laughing because it was, it was Tracy Weinzaffel and little letters and unmarried woman, huge. <laughs> and I asked her, is it okay to write in the front? of unmarried woman to just write the word happily. And she was like, she goes, I actually really never even thought about that. I was like, yeah, I just want them to know at the mortgage company, I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy, for clarifying that. Yes, I, I'm sure it says that too. I, I don't know what the other options are. So, oh, maybe joint. Yeah, I guess it's been so long, I don't remember. Well, thanks for enjoying my tea with me. Um, my members have kept saying, let's do another chitty chat at some point. So I was in the mood to just chat today. I've had a little bit of a rough week and, and uh, you know, uh, rebounding. Yeah, legal issues with who can use a home as security. 40 years in banking. Thank you, Nancy. See, this is the other thing. When you have a tribe like I do, you have resources. Now I need to have the resource of a calendar finder for me because I have to write stuff down or I forget. Like this is this is me. If you look by my bed, there are these. 
different sizes, different colors, so they all mean something. My calendar is color coded. My hangers are, my clothes are color coded. My thinking I'm a little crazy. Um, okay, I will let you all go, but just some things to look forward to. So uh, when I get the blog up and rolling again, if you have questions, I might be able to use that as, that as a resource to answer your questions and for other people because it seems like I get the same questions and I don't mind answering them um, at all. Oh, by the way, this my Wyland necklace, I took a picture and I haven't washed my hair and I shared it on Facebook and Wyland, well, his people shared it again. So I'm still stalking. And, and just so you know, under interviews, just as a joke, I wrote this because I figured if I put this on my board and I manifest it and I, not my board, on my drawer, um, then maybe that will um, make things happen. But I do, uh, he's hanging, that name is hanging right next to dad. <laughs> and I have dad before him. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't even asked my dad if he'll do it. Um... It was, thank you. It was nice to catch up with you guys. It always makes me happy to just share a little bit. Plus, I don't get yelled at. Like on Wednesdays now, everybody wants to see me draw, so no chitty chat. <laughs> so I can chit chat when I want to. I figure maybe on Fridays we should do tea time. That Maybe that's a good idea. I'm going to make stuff happen. I'm going to be posting left, right, and center. He's not going to know what hit him. <laughs> okay you all have a really good weekend and uh, I went out to dinner last night with my two kids uh, for they both said is this our last dinner is this like the dinner the celebration dinner and I said it, it was just me taking you guys out to dinner um, but yes it looks like that will be it and Sunday uh, I have about 40 minutes to an hour to move my son into his dorm and then I get to leave. An artist friend told me that I was so organized because I mentioned using file cabinets. I had to share. Oh, I don't. Uh, I don't care who makes fun of me for my organizational skills. It's something that it, it helps me in my life. Oh, Melissa just said first time watcher. This was nice. Thank you, Melissa. I had no agenda other than to just chit chat with you guys. And um uh, on Wednesday night, just so y'all know, I am on Facebook at 5.30. Sometimes it's going to be at 5 because now I'm opening up a calendar to interview people and I've already had people say yes. And I, I now have a reason to share a calendar. I never really thought that was possible. But um, so... That is so nice. But on every Wednesday, I do make it a point to do a demo of some nature or share something in the art world that's going to make your life a little bit better. And um, just to let you know, the bags are over there. I have shared a bag that I had customized um, for my art journaling supplies, and I now have furthered my collection. And I'm going to be sharing those soon, too, to pack up my travel supplies because I, um, you know, seem to be on the go a little bit. I mean, on the go. I mean, you know, the backyard, my bed, <laughs> the go is like sometimes the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, you, <laughs> Vicky just said... Uh, I should send you photos of my studio. You'd have bad dreams for days. Um, yeah, I could ba I could basically be on that home edit show, but maybe I'll share a little bit more of my house. Um, it's it's not all organized, but I'm working on my laundry room next. I, I don't really have a high budget, so uh, thank you guys, and I will talk to you, if not before Wednesday, maybe this weekend. And check in for a little chitty chat. But don't forget, if you were looking for my YouTube channel um, and looking to see in, um, into my journals or my life or anything, um, that's probably a good place. And you can hit the subscribe button while you're there. And um, thanks.
I will, uh, anybody finds that planner for me, I will reward greatly. I'm going to go look at Staples right now. So uh, thank you so much. And I will talk to you um, soon. Okay. Have a great Friday and don't forget to do something creative for yourself.